Today we are in a AVL stall. In this stall, we are seeing a cell tester. Okay, so this is used for like cell cycle testing, all those purposes. This equipment is used. With me, there is Christian from AVL. So he is going to just explain how this functions and what are the capabilities of this equipment. Thanks for the opportunity to introduce our new line of uh, uh, value oriented uh, cell cyclers. This we call Eco Line. Yeah? In contrast to our Perform Line, we have a second line of uh, cell testers, which is targeting uh, customers that want the best of the best, best accuracy, best dynamics, all inclu in included features. What you have here is a product which is uh, very rugged and uh, optimized for 24/7 operation. It's still very uh, precise with 0.02% uh, uh, of uh, full scale depending on the type of the cycler you have uh, different ranges yeah? um, the system itself uh, constitutes of uh, an active front end which converts the AC um, current to, to DC and then you have these modules here which uh, represent the channels yeah? and uh, these modules then convert the DC voltage from the DC link to the desired uh, output voltage. Yeah, so um, dynamics of this tester is also quite decent, uh, five milliseconds. Performance line has below one millisecond. Um, this baby is air cold. Yeah, it's uh, very rugged. It does not need much much maintenance, and it's a very good workhorse for your daily application, like uh, life cycling or uh, also uh, other testing with long duration. Yeah, where you need to look also on the cost of your testing. This is a very cost-efficient solution that we are presenting here. So this is used for only like cylindrical cells or prismatic cells. Like, is there any cell type only which is used to, uh, to for cells? Because this goes uh, to five volts. Yeah, so 1.5 to 5 volt uh, voltage range. You have different models. Yeah, there's models for with 12 amp maximum current, 50 amp, 100 amp, 300 amp, or 600 amp. With 12 amp, you would test, for example, 21700 uh, or 18615 cells for two wheelers. Yeah, uh, then you can put in such a cabinet up to 72 or 80 channels. Yeah, um, this is one cabinet with 80 channels. This is mass testing, yeah. Um, and if you, for example, utilize um, 100 amp, would be for the typical 4680 round cell. Uh, 300 or 600 amp is then for pris larger prismatic or, or pouch cells. Yeah? When you want to go to 2C, 3C, 4C, yeah? and you have uh, capacity of 130, 150 amp hours, you need 300 or even 600 amp. Yeah, and with this machine, you can also put automatically uh, with the test fixtures you see behind you um, very easily two channels in parallel, so you get twice the current. Yeah, and this for a very very decent. Price. Whether we can combine the cells and test it, or only cell level we can test it. Like module level test because it only goes to five volt. Yeah? In AVL, we also have uh, module testers and we have pack testers, which then can go. 800, 1200, 1500 volt, you know, with uh, up to 1000 amps per channel uh, as you need it. You know? So this is uh, our offering in batteries. So, like, is there any high temperature or lower temperature ranges for this cell testing? It's usually um, these fixtures uh, are put into climatic chambers. Yeah? These, uh, for cell testing, we don't make uh, the chambers on our own. Pack testing, yes, you can buy chambers from AVL. Cell testing, we work with companies uh, that produce chambers. Yeah, and usually cell testing works between temperatures from something like minus 40 to plus 80 degrees centigrade. This is usually the temperature range you test for. Yeah. In, in very rare cases, uh, over 80 degrees, but this is uh, not. So this will be kept outside the chamber and the cell will be connected from the inside? Right? Yes, you have on the back side. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's open. Yeah, um, You have the, the connection, connections for each. Uh, no, we cannot, we cannot look there. 
um, but you have for each channel, yeah, plus minus uh, connector and sense, yeah. So you put the cables then to the uh, chamber and from the chamber to the cell, and you have a sense line to compensate for the voltage drop of the cable. So you can measure the cell in the climatic chamber five meters, six meters away from the, the cycler. Yeah, this is how you do it. Thanks for the uh, human introduction on those things. Yeah. Thank you. It was a great pleasure.